Welcome to the record label, the ultimate contest of contests. The radio interview and freestyles challenge continues. On tonight's episode, we follow another four artists to test their ability to think fast. First up is a singer who's almost always mistaken for a rapper, Jack Rock. And today in studio, the first person coming in is Jack Rock. How are you doing, man? Good, man. How are you doing? Did you steal my name? Because I'm K-Rock. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. Ah. I didn't. Where did you get that name, man? Um, um, it's a very weird process. Like, ah. I, was, I, I was called Jack J-Rock and then some producer had to change it because they thought it was... It was too close to J Rocks. It was Shom C actually, some producer. Uh -huh. He told me to change it to Jack Rock because Jack Rock was better and shorter and to be easier to remember. Okay. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Jack Rocks. Rapper Jack Rock. Or, <laughs> Jack Rock. <laughs> yeah. Rapper or singer? I'm a singer. You, you are a singer. Ex yeah, I'm a singer. I think that name sounds. I know. I get rapish, that a lot. Rapish, like. <laughs> I get uh -huh. that a lot of times. Okay. Uh -huh. So when did you realize singing is the way for me? When did you realize? I'm a singer. Um, it's very weird because um, I started singing when I was I, at a very young age. I started singing when I was like four. My dad used, used to buy these old tapes. Like, you know, I, I, I'm a collector of old music, actually. So I know a lot okay. of those old artists. So I used to listen to ABBA, mm -hmm. Bonnie M, okay. the likes of those guys while growing up. So I used to sing my whole life. Mm -hmm. I, I got to realize I wanted to do music when I... When I got to realize people can make a career out of it, actually. Mm -hmm. After like... High school, yeah, yeah, yeah. I started pursuing my dreams. I started going to different studios, mm -hmm. yeah. Just that. I started working on my craft. You started working on your craft. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about inspiration. Mm -hmm. uh, you you mentioned that you've been listening to ABBA. You know, mm -hmm. you w w did your parents like uh, influence you into what you are now? Who did you look up to? Who do you who look up to right now? My dad especially. Okay. My dad was a very musical artist. Oh, m was a very musical person. Sorry, he wasn't he wasn't an artist himself, but he was a collector of music. He would listen to music every time. Okay. And then he'd sing to all those music, the Jim Reeves, everybody in the house. So okay. yeah, he'd get me whatever whatever tape I used to like. So I'd listen to these weird songs and buy buy me a tape next day and say, okay, let's sing along together. Okay. Yeah. So who do you look up to like on the local scene? Let's start with the local on scene. The local scene, Roberto. My Roberto is doing the most for me. Yeah, um, he's doing. I love stuff. how how he's pushing his dreams man further beyond borders. Yeah, I love yeah. people that just do, do, don't look at the Zambian scene only, man. They want to push it further. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just um, widen your your range, your reach. I don't know your fan base. And you know, across the borders, across the borders. Um, wow, just a question. Uh, wait, Africa wide or internationally, like states? I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you two options. Okay. So let's do Africa wise. Um, or then I'm a whiskey fan. You're a whiskey fan. I'm a whiskey fan. I okay. love. I love how whiskey is doing it. Whiskey and Burna Boy, man, they want Grammys. I see, I see the hackers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So whiskey is is whiskey and Burna Boy are doing whiskey it for is you. doing it for me. So we've got a number of, of musicians on the scene. You mm -hmm. know what is it that you would bring that is different, that like is different. from the rest of the guys that are on uh -huh. the scene? We've got the Robertos, we've got the FJs. Uh -huh. You know, uh, well we had the late Dave. What is it that you'd bring on the scene that is um, different? Wow, that's a, that's a very very good question. Um, originality, man. I I love to believe everybody was made different and everybody was gifted differently. But then um. I love how I make my own music and my process. Um, I, I, I love to. I love. I record when I'm inspired, and I, rec I, I would never record music when I'm, I, I don't feel like recording it. So um, it has to come from within for me to record it. So that's how passionate I get when it comes to music. Okay. So um, I give it my all when recording. I give it my all. I love to take my time. I give it my all, and then I guess that's going to be the X factor for me. Like I love to work hard. I'd rather stay in the studio all day uh, to perfect, go to uh, perfect my craft. You write your own music? I do, but then yeah, I'm open for I'm open to other people writing, but then I do write my own stuff. Have you written for some people out there? Uh, no, no, no. Because I, I I was shocked to hear that uh, uh, there's certain songs that, for example, Ed Sheeran did that mm -hmm. he wrote for other artists. For other artists, yeah, I, people I, do that. Um, I've got songs I've written and actually feel I can't really do. So um, I, I don't mind passing it to somebody else. I can actually deliver better. Mm -hmm. So um, as you write songs, you, as you write songs, there's a certain energy you get at some point. You're like, okay, this is a very nice song. I like it, but then I don't really feel um, I'm the right person for it. Okay, maybe it'll sound better when um, let's say Tishon did it, mm -hmm. or maybe some other some other singers did it. It would really sound better and sell more. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I also I also do that actually. I find it. I, I don't I don't have a I don't have a problem with that. Do you sing in the shower? I do sing in the shower. Okay. Yeah, I do. 
<laughs> what, what's your take about people that sing in the shower? Because we've got a lot of people that sing in the shower, but are not actual professional musicians. I sing I'll, in the I'll shower. I'll be a hypocrite because uh. I do it. <laughs> I don't say bad things, bad things about them because I do it too. Uh-huh. Uh, so um, it's okay, man. I guess um, everybody um, learn. Um, every le- we we learn every day, man. Yeah. So we, if, if you want to perfect your craft, I guess you perfect your craft while it's um. um I don't know what what the right word is. Well, um, it's rehearsing. Rehearsing, well, it's in the rehearsing shower, is the right word. Yeah, you got it. But too much chile in the shower. Exactly, but then <laughs> it's okay, man. It builds your confidence, your stage presence, actually. Okay. Mm. So five hundred thousand kwacha worth worth of of mm. of a recording deal. Mm. What do you plan to do with that? Wow. Um, How do you plan to push your music? My music, man. Um, I don't start with the, with the local first. I'm, I I'll have to take care of my people first, man. I'd like to make a name out out here first before I take it out there, man. There's nobody that just made it without making it here. Mm-hmm. So um, I try to work and collaborate with as, as many artists and also shoot videos. I'm um, of standard, obviously. It's Chess TV. I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I have to hit Chess TV. You have to um, on Chess TV. Yeah, exactly. I have to hit Chess TV. You first have to be on Mozo, my friend. Mozo. Then you I mean, go on Chess TV. Mozo, Mozo. I mean, it's it's the platform. It, it's it's the first step actually. Yeah, Mozo mm-hmm. first, then. The others, man. So uh, I'm, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to imagine how the race has been from the day it started. How's how's that been for you? It's been interesting, man. I've never been on this. I've never been on any um, competition, mu- mu- music music competition. This also, is the first one. This is the first one I've done, apparently. And then got selected, and I was really really excited when I got that call and said, okay, I was one of the contestants picked for the show. Did you think you'd go this far? Honestly, I did. <laughs> okay, I like you. I like your confidence. <laughs> I did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So before you go, okay. uh, I, I never bring in artists without mm-hmm. giving them a challenge. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, because I feel like <laughs> you need to do something before you leave. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Can you sing for me? Um, my song. Anybody? I'm gonna give you a word. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Interesting. You need to make sure that you. Embed that word in your singing. Okay. Okay. The like word right. is light. Light. Yes. <laughs> it's it's an everyday word. Oh, wow, light. Um. I can cut the music. I can cut the background. It's right. Okay. Name is Jack Rock. I love <laughs> light. <laughs> Dude, sorry. Was that right? My marketing will charge me right now. You don't. You okay, don't. right. I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Hold yeah. On. Oh wow. <laughs> At least give me, me four lines. Card. Give me four um, lines. That was off guard. <laughs> Mm. Wow! <laughs> Give me four lines. Ah, that was <laughs> okay. Light, mm. light. You say light, 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 light. Light, light. Mm. Love this girl. She gives me light. Oh, this nice. You feeling? <laughs> Are you going? You getting there? Oh wow! Love this girl. She gives me light. <laughs> Everything's mm, dude. <laughs> Wow, uh, this is interesting, man. Uh, okay, <laughs> give me two lines. I give you two lines. Two, two lines. lines, okay. Um, you've already done for one line. I need the other line. I love this girl. She gives me light. Can I take you out for that light? <laughs> okay. I okay. Try it. I'm, I'm not impressed, it. though. I'm not impressed. I know, though. right? <laughs> I'm not impressed. I'll tell you. I'll uh, tell you. Anyways, uh, thanks for coming through, man. Thank uh, you, man. A, a big shout out to people listening. A big, a huge shout out to everybody listening, and also Mozo TV for giving me this platform to just showcase myself. Um, make sure you guys catch my journey on um, Mozo TV channel 94 on Top Star. Like as I give you more of what I have. There you go, uh, Jack Rock on uh, the record label 97.7. Man, I always thought that freestyle singing was much easier than freestyle rapping, but boy, was an I proven wrong. Next up is another singer. I hope this one sings the redemption song for Jack Rock. So you're a singer, and we have quite a number of singers. What are you bringing to the table? What is that? What is what? What different thing are you bringing to the table? Uh, I decided to be doing my music in a different way. Okay. I mostly do some covers for big artists. I mix it with Tumbuka language. Yeah, Tumbuka. My grandma is. Your, your grandma is a Tumbuka. Yeah. So you you've learned Tumbuka, mm-hmm. and you 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 do covers in Tumbuka. Yeah, I once did uh, one for Wazi Tewepo. Okay. And uh, one for T Boy Munisunge. 
Okay. So when did you realize that uh, you know music was 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 in your blood? Uh, a long time ago, but the type of music that I'm doing now, I only discovered it last of last year. Okay. Yeah. What is it that when you sit on the other side and you look at our music industry, what is it that you feel needs to change? To look out on the upcoming artists. To look out on the upcoming artists. Yeah. Well, you feel they're not being taken care of very well? In what sense? Like, uh, there are a lot of good upcoming artists out there, but they are not given that opportunity to expose their talents. Okay. Yeah. 500,000 kwacha is at stake. Worth of a recording deal. How do you plan to push your music if you are to win that uh, deal? How do I plan to push my music? Yes. Give me three people that you'd actually put on an album. Lily T is normal, but who do you think, if I was to record an album, who would you put on the album? There is uh, Chanda Brian. Okay. Uh, Wills. Wills. Yeah. Mr. Nyopole. Yeah. It's been around. It's, it's around. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, and Wazy. And Wazy. Natasha, uh, uh, why am I calling you Natasha? Natalia. <laughs> Natalia. Natalia. <laughs> so let's talk about uh, how do you feel uh, Zambian music can be pushed with social media right now? How do you feel we can do better with social media right now? We have to be posting too much of our video clips mm -hmm. or something about ourselves on daily basis. I'm going to ask you, where are you going to be in five years' time after the record label? Where do you see yourself? I can't even imagine because you I can't have imagine. a lot of plans. You have a lot of plans? Yeah. Do we see you recording an album? A lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. You look like a princess. Thank you. I need you to sing for me or for the audience, but I want you to use the word princess. It's a freestyle. A freestyle? Yes. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Right on the <laughs> spot. Princess. Yes. Give me three lines. Three lines. Yes. I pray that I'm gonna be a princess one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said three lines. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. A freestyle. Imagine the judges are actually watching you right now. Would you tell them you can't do it? No. So you have to do it. Imagine I'm your judge. <laughs> mm. Okay, the silence is too much. <laughs> so uh, le let's, uh, as you go, what message do you have for you know the people listening uh, right now? Um, like how? What message do you have for the people listening, you know, to the show and people watching on Mozo TV? They should just keep out to my YouTube channel, Facebook, notifications and everything. Okay. All the best, uh, Vitalia. Uh, we hope to see you, you know, uh, up there, even after the show is done. Yeah. Okay. There I'll you go. always be there. <laughs> you always be there. <laughs> okay. Much. There you go. This is the record label on 97.7 Lusaka Music Radio. Uh, we'll be coming back with another artist. It looks like it's bookie for the singers tonight, Xe. Anywho, after the break, we move on to something different. Welcome back. And now, for something different, I hope, Wamudo the Tonga Rap Mwami. Yes, the race is on. This is the record label on 97.7 Lusaka Music Radio. I have Wamudo in the studio. How are you no, doing? Hello, Mr. I'm doing fine. How are you doing, man? Great, great. Rapper, right? Yeah, well. Okay. When yeah. did you start rapping, man? Uh, I started rapping at the age of seven, if I recall well. Mm. Yeah. What were you rapping about at the age of seven? I used were to. You, were, you li were you rapping to new songs, you know? I used to lip sync. You used to lip sync? Yeah. You did a lot of uh, talent shows? Yeah. I used to perform at graduation ceremonies mm -hmm. back then in primary school and a lot more. At the age of 10, who were you looking up to in terms of music? I was looking up to JK. 
Okay. He's, there, he's the man who was there. Yes, I remember. No, I, yeah. I'm just trying to... Because, I mean, JK is not a rapper, so I'm, mm-hmm. I'm obviously assuming you look up yeah. to a rapper. So JK was the man I was looking up to. Growing yeah. up, I started look, listening to Piquet Shala, Pongo Z. Wow. Yeah, and later on, I said, ah, I can't sing, I'm a rapper. Let me try something different. And I just started listening to hip-hop. And later on, I listened to people like uh, Tupac, Shaku, and the gang. So right now, who are you looking up to right now? Who are you listening to? I'm listening to J Cash. You're listening to get J Cash. J Cash, Fino, mm. and Sakol. J Cash. Who's Fino though? Who's Fino. Fino. Fino is. Uh, no, he's, he's from uh, Nigeria. He's from Nigeria. Yeah. Okay, I know Sakol is from 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 West Africa, yeah. and we must say those guys are doing pretty well yeah, they in terms are. of their music. Now, what do you think needs to change? You know, when it comes to our industry. Uh, in Zambia, biasness has to change. Like, uh, yeah, it's 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 really difficult for an artist like me mm-hmm. who's not yet established, doesn't have a name to get their music out there. Or let's say for me to get airplay or just just a TV interview, mm-hmm. exposure, per se, it's it's mm-hmm. really hard. But what is it that the industry is not doing? There's lack of uh, how can I put it? Lack of a better word. There's lack of cooperation. So you're saying musicians or artists are not. Yeah, they're not together. They're not together. Yeah. So it's either you're this camp or you're that camp. Sure thing. And if the other camp is not being supportive, then then we're doomed. So which camp? Because if, if 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 you want to achieve something in life, you have to be together. Mm-hmm. Like let's say Nigerian artists. I think I'm I'm not from Nigeria, but what I see, Nigerian artists are together. That's the reason why they're doing that that much for their for their industry and uh, South African uh, artists and in, in, in other, other countries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's the reason why they are achieving. Now, what future do you envision as far as your music career is concerned? Where do you see yourself? Well, I was about to quit music. Why? It's tough, it's tough, man. Looking at my age, I'm growing up and mm. it's not working out for me. I think this is my last chance. If it doesn't go well with me, <laughs> I'm just hanging up the mic. I wish I could be very motivational, but I need to read a book for me to be very, you know, encouraging. But I can tell you one thing: giving up is never is never the solution. Yeah. Because you never know when your break will come. Your break will come at 40. Your break will come at 30. Your break. Some people will become president at 77. Sure thing. Sure. So, so giving up, my guy, is is the last thing you should do. We'll push hard, do push so hard. since we're not giving up and we're going forward, <laughs> yeah. why did you choose a record label? Oh, a record label. Uh, I was told by a friend. Mm-hmm. Now there's this uh, reality TV show going on on Moza TV, mm-hmm. and you just have to try it. I was like, oh, no man, I want to keep this music, this music thing. I was like, no man, mm-hmm. let's go for it. That's how I went for the auditions, and I was picked, and I'm here, and I'm enjoying the journey right here. How has so the journey been? It's been awesome, awesome experience. Did you think you go this far? Yeah, I did. You had that confidence. And I'm still going far. So it's 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 five hundred thousand worth of recording deal. How do you plan Whoa. to push your music? Whoa. I'm pushing my music like I'm going places with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got a lot of plans with it. Doing videos, uh, features I've been really dreaming about, and a lot more. We've got a number of, of rappers on the scene. Uh, what is it that you're bringing to the table that is different from, you know, from me. Jay Cash? Like uh, me, I uh-huh. do my own thing, my own style. I'm one more daughter, all on the swear, stronger rap mommy. It's just me. There's the King Elias. Who's, who's, <laughs> oh, who's King Elias? <laughs> who's King Elias? <laughs> who he raps in Tonga? Oh, really? Yes. Uh, I never heard of the man. Honestly? Yeah. Now, now you're, you're pulling my leg, man. Never heard of the man. You're pulling my for leg. Real, for real. The only Tonga rap mommy I know is me. I've, yeah, I've had people who spit in Tonga, but I think mm. I'm the only nigga who spits, spits Tonga, Tonga. You're the only nigga that spits yeah, in Tonga. Yeah, like hardcore bars in Tonga. I, I want to give you a challenge. Cool. Because you're saying you're the one that spits in Tonga. Lego, I want bring you to, it on. I want you to spit in Tonga. I want you to use the word change. You can translate it any way you want. Okay? You might... Uh, I, I really don't know if you can translate uh, change in Tonga, but your 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 rap should be around change. Okay. Yes. Uh, I can give you a beat. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Don't look good at freestyling. Let's hear it. I want to, cause I I want to know what you can do because you told me you don't know. Okay. Yeah. Tava Lambaswe. Come go tiga. Money by the game. This one get change. 
I'm too fresh, therefore I'm a chain Yeah, I mean, Lusaka TV, I'm uh, sorry, Mozo TV, Lusaka Radio uh. Come later, won't say Mara Papa, Dila Balia, Banaba Turn up tali ga kam leta ma po bearer wa muto toba lombe ah di me gondili gondili oh swa funika kushusha vani ziba mweni lili na 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 yeah ah tani na ku tali ga kamu valeta ma po bearer wa gambo di la ba chisa mu nomba na ba inogai mo sowe la mo bulu mo ba zete mo tani nyonga ni kam di bo zambondi vedim tani bo ni guli ba inganda mu ganda ula legendary innocent kala luka muni kamo tu vedim mo samu ina mo hinyogo mo hinyogo inga wagu ya sagem bego ina indi sense dengu life boy vedim so ko tanta mo kava la kupadzuda skis ko ba pa trust at your own risk is risk boli ku zana nandi me mo no mo mo bagua. Such man as I got your hand and money here to us down. One mood to have a lot of You said it well, but you you left change. Change, yeah. <laughs> hey, freestyling, man. All freestyling. Uh huh. Yeah, just a rapper, tongue rapper, man who believes in himself. Okay. Yep. Uh, a message to uh, you know people listening out there. All right. Uh, just follow my journey on Mozo TV channel 94 Top Star and get to know more about me and everything. And when people, when can people catch the show on Mozo TV? It's uh, on Tuesday, 20 hours and Thursdays. Okay. Yeah. All the best, Wamudo. Tabla <laughs> mbeswe. Wamudo, the Tonga rap mwami representing. Moving on from the rapper who denies knowing King Illis to the singing Stratomaster, Delvin. I have in studio Delvin. How are you doing, Delvin? I'm fine. Ah, yeah. you are the only guy in here with an instrument. I love people that play guitar because Thank I'll you. tell you a story. Yeah. I tried to play in 2009. Okay. It didn't go well. Why? Yeah. <laughs> But hey, I appreciate people that play this kind of music. What kind of music do you do? I am actually a love song singer, songwriter. Okay. Yeah. So you write your own songs? I do write my own songs. Is it safe? Amazing songs, actually. Amazing songs? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, we, we shall, I, I can see you're ready to play. Ooh. You know, we shall see you ready to play, but we, we, we'll get to play at the end of the show. Yeah. So tell me about how did you know about the record label and what made you choose a record label? Uh, I came to know about the record label because uh, there's somebody who came, I mean, not somebody who came, but somebody tagged me mm-hmm. on a post that mm-hmm. they posted, like Mozo TV posted a post about the record label. And my friend tagged me because he saw that and he knows me and music. We're just friends, like very big friends, yeah. Okay. So he said, maybe you can do this. And I decided to join this because I feel it's a platform where I can actually expose myself mm-hmm. and uh, I can I can really have a lot of people that can listen to me and listen to what I do and appreciate if I'd all they love that. Now, if you could change anything about the, the music industry in Zambia, what would you change? Uh, the music industry in Zambia, what I would change is actually, okay, there are really good things, though people, other different people are complaining about. Maybe people are not being serious when they have money. They're like, they stop being serious about the music industry. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't stop. And I would actually make sure that maybe I have a certain studio that can be very much affordable for the upcoming artist mm-hmm. and having a professional producer okay. doing the work. Yeah, uh, it, it, A lot of it has been said about Zambian musicians who uh, people say that we are not able to play live. I'm saying we because... You know, I'm in the entertainment industry as well. So we, we've been told many times that musicians can't play live music. What is your take on that? Because you play live music. Wow, we do. And I mean we do because mm-hmm. I, it's the best thing that I do. I'm actually, I'm actually better when I'm doing live mm-hmm. than when I'm recording in the studio. Okay. Yeah, because when I'm recording in the studio, I usually do it repeatedly. Like I do it different times for me to get the perfect uh, thing. But when I'm doing live, I make sure I focus and I don't make mistakes. You know, uh, two weeks ago, I, I attended a show um, in my neighborhood. Danny was playing live okay. uh, with the Mo Fire Band. Yeah. I was impressed with what I saw because I've not seen Danny since 2014. Okay. How much rehearsal goes in for you to perform? 
how much how many times do you rehearse a day just for you to do a set i okay i'm this guy who usually performs uh, in malls yes yeah i do in different occasions and maybe probably even the show that you're talking about about danny mm -hmm. i actually opened the show because mm -hmm. i there is a show that i opened for danny two weeks ago okay. at uh, at uh, I've just forgotten the pub. Greenleaf Pub and Grill. Yeah. You a, were there? I was there okay. and I did my song there. And a lot of people were really, like, they really loved what I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I opened the show for Danny okay. that day. I want to know your creative process, you know, from yeah. the time that you start, you write your own songs? Yeah, I do. How, do you, how do you, you know, start, how do you start writing your songs? Do you come up with a chorus first? Do you come up with a verse? What is your creative process like? Okay, first I start with playing my guitar. You play your guitar. <laughs> yeah, yes. I first make the instrument, like I make the melody mm -hmm. from the guitar and I get to think of what situation, like what am I going to sing about? Mm -hmm. And then I go to the chorus because the chorus is actually where everything is put together in a sh in a shortest possible way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you talk about everything in the chorus, then you go to the verses where you just... Yeah. And that's how the song yeah, comes Yeah, that's about. how I write my songs. We have a lot of uh, people that play guitar and people that sing. Mm -hmm. What sets you apart from what we have already, you know, on the ground? I, I wouldn't know what would set me apart, but I'm just me. I do what I feel is right for me. Mm -hmm. I usually don't follow people because uh, mainly we have different views and a lot of people have got different favorite artists. So mm -hmm. if I follow what other people are telling me, when I do what they are telling me, when I go to a different place, mm -hmm. other people are going to tell me a different thing, mm -hmm. of which, again, I'll find it so difficult for me to change. Mm -hmm. So I, I probably think I just do what I do, mm -hmm. and whatever I feel is right for me, I do it. And when I feel I am wrong, of course, I accept people to advise me why I'm wrong, but not usually changing me. I don't change me. You don't change. Yeah. Okay, what you know? What do you intend to do with the grand prize? Uh, it's five thousand, five hundred thousand quarter rather, yeah. uh, worth of a recording deal. How do you plan to push your music with that uh, kind of resource? You know, uh, at your disposal. Yeah, obviously, I I would talk of features. I would love to feature a lot of different artists, mm -hmm. like uh, it being international artists. Mm -hmm. It being a uh, local Zambian artist because we've got great musicians in Zambia of which they, those are the ones that I would love to feature and I would actually, I don't know others because I don't have much of a plan for that sum of mine. It's just so much big for me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who do you listen to? Who do you look up to, you know, on the local scene and both on the international scene as well? Uh, on the local scene, I, I look up to Roberto and Abel Chungu. Okay. Because I love their vocals. I mean, I love their vocals, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then outside, outside, okay, outside. I listen to different people because I would want to. I I love being uh, a dynamic person, so I listen to Ed Sheeran. Mm -hmm. I listen to uh, J C J. I also listen to Sia mm -hmm. and other different Adele and different other artists. So you're ready to play? Oof. <laughs> I'm not. Here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a word. Okay. Okay. I want you to interpret it in your own way. Okay. Okay. The word is mine. Yeah. But I want you to sing, but interpret it in your own way. The word is mine. Mine. Who? Uh. Though I don't rhyme. <laughs> oh, yeah. begin to blush I just can't seem to figure it out But every time I think of you I know you Every time that you are mine I was wondering if I could take you out for one more night Now if you mind Just take my hand And be mine No oh, I, I was Wondering if I could be yours I was wondering If I could be yours I'm done 
Nice, nice, man. Uh, all the best on this journey. And uh, just a quick one, uh, a big shout-out to who's listening. Who are you giving, who are you giving a shout-out to? Uh, shout-out to all my friends that are listening and shout-out to Mozo TV because Mozo TV is the platform that has made this possible. I wouldn't have come here today if it wasn't for Mozo TV. Then the other thing is catch my journey on Mozo TV, uh, channel 94 on Top Star every Tuesday. All the best. 20 hours. All the best, Delvin. We hope to see you even after the record label. Thank you so much.